Hey, we're on our way out to do some production shooting, and I'm going to stop at Walmart, pick up a cheap knife, see if, how, if it's uh, sharp, how it sharpens, things like that, just for some fun. This is Brad. Take care. So cool. Focus. We're not here for Star Wars. Uh, where's the knives at? Got it. Now we go do it. Hi, this is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com, down here in Denver. Uh, you know, we were just out here on the day, you know, kind of goofing off again. You know, went over to Walmart, bought a knife. Uh, we're just going to check it out, see how it cuts, you know, a little bit about it and things like that. It's got a three and uh, three quarter inch blade on it. And, um, excuse me, two and three quarter inch blade. And so it's this one right here. It's actually a titanium blade that's coated. And then, of course, it's a camouflage knife. So, you know, it's three dollars and uh, I believe it was three dollars and eighty-seven cents, somewhere in here. Uh, three dollars and eighty-seven cents, four dollars and eighteen cents with the tax. So, you know what? We're always checking out giveaways on our site. People say, you know, what's a good knife just to go to Walmart somewhere and buy? So, we're checking them out and find out. Let's find out on this one right here. So, uh, cardboard's always tough. And you gotta kind of tear it apart and make them tough so the kids <coughs> can't just take them right out of the store, I think. So something like that. And I could have cheated and taken my little pocket knife out of my pocket. That takes away some of the fun. I'm just gonna kind of do this to it here. So as far as my hand, it's probably about seven inches from the heel to the fingers. So it's about a six inch knife overall, uh, two and three quarters on the blade. So it does have the spring interlock right there. All right, so then you can pop it open. No, you can't, it's not spring assist. It's actually pretty, uh, pretty firm, pretty good knife, I guess. Let's check and see how it cuts without doing anything to it. That's actually pretty sharp. I'm a little bit amazed that it's uh, that sharp. We can maintain the edge for sharpness or make it even a little sharper. You know what? One of the best, handiest little sharpeners you'll ever find comes right out of your watch pocket. And it's called the poker chip because it's about the size of a poker chip. So if I'm going to sharpen this knife, I'm going to work on this knife. I would actually probably just put it on my leg. But we're going to take the corners. There's one, there's one right there. There are tungsten carbide corners, 90 degree corners. We touch the blade like this. So match the bevel, turn it, and brush the blade like this. I'm actually not hanging on to the sharpener. Sounds kind of weird. I'm actually hanging on to the keychain. If you'll notice, I'm about like this. My index finger is on the sharpener a little bit. My thumb is just barely touching and so is my middle finger. In other words, it's kind of floating. So when we touch like this, when it comes up and touches my thumb, that's enough pressure. I move along at about 90 touches a minute. So match the bevel this way, let it turn about 45 degrees, and then slide it down the blade. So it would be just like this in real time. Slide it right on down, right around the radius and off the tip. Do the same thing here, match the bevel, turn it approximately 45 degrees, and brush along this way. A lot of people say, well, it can't be doing anything. 
You know, I don't know. I've heard a lot of things. I've heard machinists say that this stuff is about 20 times harder than blades and steel. I've heard people say 10 times harder. I just tried to repeat what the actual machinists that use carbide uh, in the machining say. And, um, you know, you're going to get a variety. So let's say between 10 and 20 times harder than the blade. That's why if you're touching it like this with the corner of the sharpener on the blade and then just a little bit of pressure like this with rapid movement about 90 touches a minute, I don't care how hard the blade is in a very short time, I'm going to have the knife sharp. So let's turn it over now, play with the other side a little bit. I always call it pestering. You know, I'm just touching it, I'm being gentle, uh, you know, just sliding along there eighth of an ounce of pressure maybe because I'm already working on a sharp knife and then we touch it lighter and lighter and lighter and now it's really kind of floating like that flip the knife every pass now I'm just polishing on the wire edge when I get done with the knife there is no wire edge sticking out there okay let's uh, try it now and see what we have you've seen it before that is smooth that's really smooth right out to the tip and I'm just pushing it through we're not we're not slicing and and pushing the knife sideways and all that that's right out to the tip sharp push it through just like oh the little pigtail there you go just like that so you know what for a, a very inexpensive knife four dollars and thirteen cents with tax uh, very pocketable, lightweight. They say it's titanium coated, coated titanium. It's a, a camouflage handle. It's just about the right size. That would be actually a very nice knife to carry. So you just move your uh, lock, fold it up like that. When you get ready to use it again, take your thumb, give it a flick. There it is. This is Brad, SharpensBest.com. Take care and have a really good day.